Hello, I'm Fiona Phillips um, and on this DVD we'll be showing you how personal budgets really have changed people's lives, including my dad's. Well, I think it's a massive change. It's as big a change in the social care side as the, as the community care reforms of the, of the mid-90s. But to be honest, it's much bigger than that because this is really about a change in societal approaches to care and support for people over the next 20 to 30 years. Now I can dwell on what I want and what I need. It's given me my life back what N uh, MS has taken away. With the direct payment, I can employ the person who can speak Punjabi, who can, because my mum's very particular, like she go to the prayer and she got to cover her head and uh, that's her, her own pride. They just keep her the way she wants it. Uh, the policy putting people first is just about social care money for the time being. Um, so that's the main difference between the terminology of individual budgets and personal budgets. Personal budgets is just social care money. I have an individual budget and uh, things are, are on the up for me, things are really exciting. I can go out and do anything at my time when I want to do it. So I have a job as a lecturer for a company called Here First. They're a training company. I realised that the sort of field that I would most likely end up working in would be like the disability field or the disability movement. Most of the stuff you can't see, so many people might be in a wheelchair, but it doesn't mean they don't want to go dancing or they don't want to go to a pub. Our project's very simple. It's very basic. It's people wanting to get together to do something about things that they are maybe unhappy with or that they don't think are quite as good as they could be. By getting the word from the man and woman in the street, this is how you can make them better. You didn't know whether you wanted to go back into hairdressing or not, and, and then you just kind of said, yes, no, that's definitely what I want to do. And Well, it's brilliant because it, it, it's a motivation plan. You can't just change your mind and decide, oh, I'm going to buy this today. So it really helps you to stick with your plan because I am a person that can change my mind a lot. It's helped us in so many ways, but it's all thanks to our doctor that we got, I think. The future's always been something that's been a massive concern to me as, as I've you know, watched Jenny grow up. I feel it's the absolute right thing to do for Jenny, which is what has motivated me on, really. Is Jenny happy? Yeah. It's enabled me to employ a personal assistant. Uh, Chris is, uh, helps with the desk and he will uh, take all the phone calls, uh, show visitors as well. You know, being this age and disabled and having to get in a mortgage, right, not easy. All that is fairly daunting for most people and in fact there's help out there to help you. Easy peasy. It's changed everything. I've been able to go places, do things. Even the simple things like just going to the pictures has been a great change to my life. We're at the very early stages, but I can see it will change our life quite a lot, won't it? As time goes on and as Lewis gets more used to going out with different people. This is the greenhouse, looking quite good. He's also doing some voluntary work at one of the local museums and also has some one-to-one -one support where he goes out one day a week to do some physical activities at, at the gym. What people say about what they want is we want to be happy, we want to feel less socially isolated, we want to get out and about. These are the kind of things that I'm sure people are saying across the country when people talk to them and listen to them. And Loveline and Sean and Dawn have been great company as well as great people to, to tell us what they would really like social care to be like. It's just all the things that that keep him living as normal a life as possible, but maintaining his dignity as well. Just because you're getting older, just because you're disabled, or because you are very ill, have chronic diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, doesn't mean that you shouldn't still be able to maintain your dignity, and that's very important. Mm -hmm.